Yo, 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 what's poppin' my goons? We back. Yo, today, I'm gonna give you the game on the signs. Ten signs that you're dealing with frenemies. Fake friends. Jealous. They wanna sabotage you. Fake family members. Okay? Frenemies. Ten signs that you got haters in your camp. You need to know these signs so you don't get caught slipping. Alright? Shit like that. Sign number one. Alright? Is it they don't support your business. You put in a lot of work, you've been doing this, you've been doing that, you've been grinding it for a long time. They don't support it. They see you out here. You've been putting in crazy work. You got the plug on this, you got the plug on that. They see you busting down, but guess what? They don't support it. They don't tell a friend. They know people that could use your services. They know you got skills in this, that, and the other. And they know people that are looking for the skills and talents that you got, you bring to the table. But guess what? They're not gonna support that. You selling candy, they ain't gonna buy nothing from you. They don't get it from the store. You doing any sort of endeavor, they're not gonna support it. They're not gonna hit the like button. They're not gonna hit the share button on social media. They won't follow, they won't watch, all that, but they're not gonna support you at all. Straight like that. You're on your own with that. So whatever you're doing, don't expect no help from them. Your friends, your family, they are not trying to see you prosperous and win with it. Stay like that. I know you think they are, but they're not. Okay? Straight like that. They don't support your business. That's how you know. They ain't rocking with you like that. Okay? The next sign that you know that you're dealing with fake friends, fake family members, okay? Frenemies. They're not clapping for you when you win. Straight like that. You win big on something that took a long time, you put in a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of discipline, a lot of sacrifice, and they see it, they know it, they know all about it, been talking about it for a long, long time, and you finally materialize it. They're not gonna clap for you, not gonna be happy for you. They're gonna be like, oh, okay, that's cool. All right, yeah, okay, all right, all right. You know, and they're gonna change the subject. You know, they're not jumping for joy with you, they're not patting you on the back, they're not, you know, like, oh man, you got that new whip, oh man, that's what's up, man, come on, man, let's ride, man, I'm happy for you, happy for you, man, let's, let's go to the beach, you know, let's go to the club, whatever, they trying to ride with you everywhere you go, they're not happy for you like that, you know, they see you pulling up with that, they're mad as hell, shit like that, they got a better car than you, and they still mad as hell, like, damn, like, you didn't caught up to them, you know, that, that goofy stuff. You know, or they don't got no car at all, you know, so you got a new car, so, you know, they're just hating because they don't got a new car. So well, whatever it is, it don't got to be a car, it can just be anything. Something you wanted for a long time, you got a better body than them, you know, but you worked out every day and they didn't do it at all. So it's like, they don't be mad at you for having stuff that you you put in a lot of work for and then you finally got it. Shit like that, I see it all the time. So they're not clapping for you when you win. I didn't win right in front of my friends' faces, right in front of my family members' faces. And I didn't, yeah, I got crickets, straight like that. If the crickets buzzing outside, that's all I got. So it be like that sometimes, straight like that. So, yo, the next sign that you're dealing with fake friends and family members that are jealous of you is that they will cut you off over the smallest thing, okay? You have no room for error with them. Sometimes in life, pretty much all the time, we're all gonna do something or say something that we didn't mean, we made a mistake. Nobody's perfect out here. People got this screwed up, just misconception in their head that they're perfect all the time and people must be perfect. But people are not perfect. We are not perfect. We all make mistakes. Everybody makes a mistake here and there. You can tell if someone's genuine, ah, oh, they made a mistake, they apologize, they're sincere. They'll go out of their way to show you that they care, you know? That's the signs of somebody who really genuinely cares they made a mistake. These motherfuckers are cut you off because you made a small little error, a small little mistake. One little tiny small thing, it was a freaking molehill, they turned it into a mountain, okay? They're not rocking with you like that. You have no room for error. If someone won't even let you make one mistake and you have to be Mr. or Mrs. Perfect all the time around them, you gotta walk on eggshells all the time when you're around them, they don't rock with you like that. Shit like that. They're fake friends, fake family members because you are entitled to make mistakes because you're human. Straight like that. Some people, they won't let you make no mistakes. And if motherfuckers make a mistake and they don't apologize and obviously they didn't give a shit. It is like, it is what it is. It be like that, straight like that. So yo, always know that. They cut you off quick, quick. They ghost you, you're like, what happened? All I did was this or all I said was that. And you don't get to explain yourself. You don't get to, they don't want to hear it. 
Hey, they wasn't rocking with you anyway. Straight like that. Because a real motherfucker that cared about you will walk it out, talk it out. You can get through any problem. There's no problem you can't solve and get through with somebody who's willing and able to help rectify whatever the situation is. That's what that's what humans do. That's motherfuckers building. That's what people do. They build. So they cut you off quick. They ain't building with you. So watch out for them. The next time you know that you're dealing with fake friends and family members, is it like you're suffering, you're struggling, you're going through something, you're having a hard time, and they can help you. They got the remedy to the sickness you got, and they know they got it, and they're not gonna give it to you. They have the cure to the poison that's killing you, and they're not gonna give it to you. Why? They don't rock with you like that. They wanna see you die. They don't want you on this earth no more. They don't want you around. They hate your guts because they know, they see you struggling, they see you going through some stuff, and you know what? They could help you, but they're not going to help you. They're not going to do it. They do not want to help you go through whatever it is you're going through. You need a, a helping hand. You need a, a, a ear to lend to help you get through whatever your situation is. They don't want to hear that shit. They're glad you got problems. They're glad you stressed out. They're glad you're having a hard time. Okay? They could help you out. They got the key to open that door. They're straight up gatekeepers. And they're not gonna open that door for you at all. They're gonna just let you stay knocking. Let you stay knocking. Straight like that. They do not care. That's how you know they're not rocking with you. Because they can help you out your situation. They can help you get up out your misery and get into prosperity. But they're not gonna do it. But they could do it. And you know what they say? Like, if I'm shining, my candle shining bright. It don't take away from my candle light to light your candle up. At all. Don't take away from mine. It don't take away from theirs. But... They ain't gonna light your candle. And they're just gonna keep you in misery and see you suffer. Cause they don't care about you like that. It brings joy to their heart to see you suffering. So they're not rocking with you like that. Just watch out for them. The next way you know you're dealing with fake friends and family members is that they're in silent competition with you. This is a big one, all right? Motherfuckers won't even tell you they're competing with you. Shit like that. They always wanna outdo you no matter what. And it's like, it's like they can't see you being better than them at something. They think because they're high and mighty and you're just a peasant, a peon to them. And that's the, the dynamic of the friendship, the dynamic of the relationship. You know, they're the fast one, you the slow one. They're the smart one, you the dumb one. Let you have a brilliant idea. They're going to hate your guts for having a brilliant idea. Let, let you have, have a business and it takes off. They're going to hate your guts saying, nah, I didn't expect you to blow up like that. I didn't expect you to have success in whatever endeavor it is like that. They thought you was going to be the slow one, the loser, the person who can't get it together. When you uh, come to find out you got it together, now they hate your guts. Or maybe you do the same things, but you do it a little bit better than them. And it's not even that you do it better than them. You just do it different than them, but they see it as better. And so now they hate your guts because they think you do it better than them, but you just do it different than them. So, you know, it'd be like that. You know, I got my own little little dramas and, and beefs with people that, that do the same stuff I do. And they be hating on me because it's like I do it better than them, but I'm not competing with them. I don't even see them. Straight like that. Like, yo, I don't even see you. So it is what it is. I'm in my own lane. But a lot of goofies want to take shots because I'm doing something that they just can't do the way I do. So it is what it is. Shit like that. Be like that. Another way that you know you're not getting the fair treatment right, you're dealing with people that are being fake to you, fake friends and family members, is they're not giving you the credit you deserve. They know you deserve the credit. You put in the most work, the most dedication, most determination. They're not giving you the credit. They're talking down like, oh, that, that was anybody can do that. That's how you know they're hating. When they say, anybody can do that. That's a big one right there. Oh, that ain't nothing special. Anybody can do that. Uh, you know, or someone else does it better. Or or they'll change the subject and say, oh, but you should, you should see the way someone else is doing it. You should see the way so-and-so does it. Like, who cares about the way so-and-so does it? It's about me. It's about what I'm doing. They don't want to hear that, man. Like, yo, they're not going to give you the credit you deserve. Straight like that. They ain't going tell you you're wrong. For, for being prosperous in whatever your endeavor is. They won't criticize and say, well, that's cool, but you could have did it this way. That's all right, but you could have did it that way. Yo, why does it matter what way I did it? I did it. That's the only thing that matters, the bottom line, okay? We live in bottom line time over here, okay? So they always got something to say. I always got a negative criticism to say. Why don't you just hit the fucking like button and shut up, you know? You always got a criticism. You could have did it like this. You could have did it like that, man. Come on. Get out of here with that goofiness. 
They're always in stupid competition with you. They don't give you the credit you deserve. Straight like that. Because they're envious of you. Fake friends and family members. They're not supporting you like that. Always got some shit to talk. And that leads me into the next thing. The next thing you know of uh, fake friends and family members is when they're always talking down on you. It's like, dang, why they always got something negative to say about you? You ever notice that? It's always something negative about you. Why you got so much negative to say about I'm God's creation. You are God's creation. You're the chosen one. You can't find nothing good to say about somebody. This person can't be that bad. They always got something negative to say about you. You cannot be that bad. They can't find anything positive to say about you. So if somebody always got something negative to say about you, oh, I hate this about you. I hate that about you. It's just, you're a hater. So you're like that, you know, but they won't tell you to your face. Notice that. They never ever tell you to your face. They know they get slapped. You're knocked out. They already know. That's why they always do it to other people. Always can't wait to go run off at the mouth and talk down on you. It's ridiculous, man. Straight like that. Yo, drop a comment, man. The woman's always talking down on you behind your back. And it'll get back to you because somebody you like will tell you, hey, so-and-so is talking about you. That's how you know you got the sauce because somebody else will tell you, <laughs> like, yo, so-and-so is talking down on you. That stuff happens, man. It happens to me. I, I get it, you know? So it'd be like that, you know? So that's how you know you're dealing with fake friends and family members. Your peers is hating on you because they're always talking down on you. Always got something negative to say about you. Can't find nothing good to see, say about you. It'd be like that. Another sign that you got to watch for, fake friends, fake family members, check this out. You're not welcome to the group. You're not welcome in the function. You're not welcome. You're not wanted. You don't, you're not a part of this, okay? We don't want you around, all right? They want to act like you're going to be singled out. You're going to be the black sheep, okay? You're going to be the black sheep of your family. You're going to be the black sheep of your friends. You're going to get the black sheep at work. You're going to get black ball. I know this. I go through this stuff, all right? So I'm speaking first-handed experience i know all about being the black sheep being singled out being left out you know it be like that okay i didn't been through it friends and family and my peers so i know all about it being left out I ain't fucking with me like that i'm left out so i'm sure you probably have the same similar experiences mothers will leave you out cut you out the group you're not welcome you're not one of us you're not good enough for whatever reason they clicked up and you ain't a part of that click for whatever reason. And they'll never tell you the reasons why. That's the cold-blooded part about it. It's not like, oh, you know, you could fix this and fix that and be a part. Nah, this ain't gonna tell you. And just leave it, leave you wondering, leave you guessing. So people do that goofy stuff. They ain't rocking with you. Straight like that. Fake friends and family members, that's how they move. Straight like that. Next way to know that you got fake friends and family members is that they will set you up for failure. <laughs> Straight like that. This is a big one. They will set you up for failure. Like they will give you bad advice. Okay, you're asking for some advice and you're thinking that, oh, that was some good advice because you didn't hear, hear it like that. You got it from a different angle. No, it was bad advice. It was it was made to trip you up, set you up. They're setting you up to fail you. They want to see you lose. Okay, they want to see you fail. Okay, they're not going to tell you the real. They're going to give you some sugar-coated answers. Whatever it is, it's going to be sugar-coated. It ain't going to be the real answer. I promise you. Straight like that. You're going to get fake answers. Not the real answer. Not the real reason. Silent treatment. All that, they're not gonna tell you. Setting you up for failure. They're only gonna say, go ahead and do that, go ahead and do that, when it's something that you're gonna do that's gonna set you back. You're gonna fall by the wayside taking their advice, okay? That's what they want. They don't wanna give you smart advice, they're gonna give you bad advice, set you for failure, because they wanna see you fall so they can stay on top and you can stay on bottom. It brings joy to their soul. It's goofy like that, but hey, people move like that because they're sad, sick, and selfish, narcissistic, all right? So just know that fake friends and family members, they do that. And the next sign, last sign, is that they know you have gifts, know you have talents, know you are blessed by the most high God with something special in you that, that they can't get nowhere else. Guess what? They're gonna go find it somewhere else. Straight like that, they know they can use you to help them get whatever it is they're trying to get because you have this special gift, special talent, special ability, and they're gonna ignore it and go find it somewhere else. I see this one all the time. I get this one a lot in the gym. I got rock solid abs, okay? And I was 300 pounds fat, overweight. People walk up to me and say, how do I get abs like that? How do I get abs like you? And I tell them what to do. They never do what I tell them to do. Never. So you know what I did? I shut up. I stopped talking about it. I don't even give no more fitness advice to nobody because they don't listen. <laughs> Shit like that. They'll go scour the internet and go ask 
a, a fat person how to get rock hard abs, but you asked the person with the rock hard abs and he told you. They they will not take no advice from you. Okay, they, you got good services, you got good skills, maybe you do hair well, they'll get their hair done somewhere else. Shit like that. You make clothes, you got fire clothes, they're not gonna get no clothes from you, they're gonna get them somewhere else. You sell cars, they're not buying no cars from you, they're buying it from somewhere else. Every single thing, you growing weed, they're not gonna get it from you, they're gonna get it from somewhere else. Whatever it is you do, people gonna get it from somewhere else. They're not going to you for it at all. And they know you can give it to them for the deal, for the plug, and they know you, and it's all good. You're not gonna get scammed, you're not gonna get ripped off. It don't matter, they'd rather take a chance and get scammed and ripped off by somebody else than versus getting it from you straight up legit. Just because it's you. All the way real, fake friends and family members. They move like that. So yo, those are the 10 ways you can tell you can play by fake friends and family members, fake peers. They're setting you up for sabotage, so pay attention, my goons. Straight like that. Dropping that heavy gem for you like I always do. So you found the value in this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, comment, man. And we're gonna keep busting you in there with these fire gems, spontaneous productions. Till next time, my goons. Yow. Peace. Salute.